Well, mortgage rates being offered by our big banks are the lowest they've been since just after World War II. Banks are offering rates as low as 3.85%, but they aren't expected to stay low for long. For more, we're joined by mortgage advisor Bruce Patton. Good morning, Bruce. Morning. So what's driving these low rates? Oh, look, every year the banks come out around spring and bring out a special, and I think this is just that time of year where they're going, let's put something out, get some activity. Market's been a little bit suppressed. Um, their volumes have probably been a little bit down, so it's just a bit of, come on, we'll, we'll give you early Christmas. It's not, it's, this is a special special, though, isn't it? I mean, as I said in the introduction, it's the lowest rate since World War II. Yeah, interestingly, um, it, it's certainly probably that case for all of the banks to have gone there, but, you know, it's not that long ago that Kiwi Bank was below 4% for two years. Um, so, yes, it is. It, it's unusual for all of the banks to jump on the bandwagon because normally what happens is someone brings out a special, the other banks ignore it, but they still match it when their customers ring up and ask for it. This right. is an unusual situation for them all to have jumped on and, and gone sub-4. Is this deal going to last a long time? No, by the time Santa comes down the chimney, um, this rate will be gone. Um, in fact, it'll be gone within the next few weeks. So our, our uh, encouragement to people is if you've bought a home and you want to lock in a rate or if you're coming off a fixed rate and you want this, um, get in now. But should you jump into something like this? I mean, because... Are there any fish hooks? Look, there's no fish hooks, but what you should be looking at is the cheapest isn't always the best. You know, if you're on a single income, perhaps, you know, um, somebody on maternity leave, don't just jump at the lowest rate. Um, if you want a bit of security, you still should consider the two and three year rates are still very, very low as well. Is there any cash back to this? Because sometimes if you work out a, a mortgage offer, the lowest ones aren't actually the best. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of the banks offer cash contributions at the same time when you take out a new mortgage. Um, but in this case, they're still offering the cash backs. I think the biggest thing you need to be aware of is um, you do need 20% to be eligible for it. So, that, so that's one of the things, you know, if you've got only a 10% deposit, um, you're not going to be able to get these rates. So should people be breaking their current mortgage, mortgage contracts to try and take advantage of this? Look, you, you can look at it. Interestingly, Generally what happens is uh, the cost of you getting out is equivalent to what you're going to save. In some cases, it all depends on what the wholesale rate was when you took out your loan. So it's worth asking, um, but generally you'll find if it costs you $2,000 to break it, you might save $2,200. So not always worth breaking. I guess the big question is, would you be su suggesting to your customers that they take this offer? Yeah, so I, I do a commentary to my clients every six weeks and, and we've been saying consistently for some time, you know, that the rates are going to stay down for some time. That's been, you know, reinforced by the Reserve Bank. So I've got no concerns over someone fixing for 12 months. Um, as I said, uh, one of the key things is, is it affordable for you if rates go up? So if you want security and you're perhaps on a limited income, then you should look at a bit longer. Now, the other big issue we're discussing this morning is, should you put your onions beneath the sausage or on top of it? What's your preference? Uh, I don't care. And in fact, if a child's going to drop their um, sausage and onion, doesn't matter where it is, they're still going to drop it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Bruce Patton.